Hello people, I go by the name of Moji Beats. I'm a Ghanaian music producer and you're watching Beats and Live with Grand Up Charlie and Roland. Yeah, so this is the area I grew up in. Um, this is Ameria. She used to sell wachi for us back then. Before we go to the studio, she would sell us wachi. Sometimes we take wachi on credit. Much, much. And this is uh, Kwekudan. Kwekudan was like um, uh, a school father to me back then. Yeah, he used to take care of me as well. Yeah, they really believed in me. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually glad that they get to witness what I've become. We are live at Ashaiman New Cortez. Uh, this is where I actually grew up. Um, I started learning how to make music right here in the studio behind me at the age of 12. Yeah, I would love, I would, I would love to actually take you inside. But right now, this place is no more a studio. As you can see, just a kiosk like that. So, firstly, I used to use uh, a desktop. There was a desktop. There was a mouse and one tiny little desktop speaker like that to make beats and, and stuff. Like, yeah. So, I tried to figure out a way to to get into the scene, into the music industry. Uh, it was very difficult. So, I started making artworks for artists like D Crime. Um, a frame, Master Gazi, even Master Gazi himself. Uh, we're a bunch of my fellow music producers making artworks, editing videos, animation, and stuff like that. So I started creating this nice relationship with these artists. A shy man is a very tough place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me say, in my story, I actually put uh, a shy man up there because a shy man actually toughened me up. Uh, even the, the process of um, learning music, yeah, music production and stuff, Ashaman actually played a very big role. Where uh, the people I used to uh, record music with are uh, very tough people, very tough people. So I needed to be very careful in the kind of uh, sounds I chose in the studio. I couldn't just choose any sound like that because these guys, they will come after me. I'm a very shy person. I'm a very shy person. So Ashaman uh, actually built me up in terms of working in the studio, not to be shy, working in the studio and stuff like that. I grew up listening to Afrobeats uh, from Fela Kuti. I remember my dad used to play his songs early in the morning and stuff like that. He used to play a lot of his songs. I think that has an influence on the way I make beats now. Yeah, so my top three music producers, my top three favorite music producers are Timbaland, Kanye West, and Don Jazzy. Um, I grew up listening to these guys. The sound was so unique, and I thought I could actually carve my own kind of sound from their sound, if that makes sense. Yeah. The gravity goes slowly, slowly, slowly. The gravity goes um, yeah, so when I was coming here in the car, I had this idea. Take my, I really didn't get the lyrics correct, but the melody was actually catchy. So I decided to actually make a beat around around what I just sang. So added all the effects I normally use to the vocals. Alright, so I will be using this preset from Xenology, Roland Xenology Small Strings. Let's play some chords. I need a more powerful string, percussion, rotary organ. Yeah, let me see how this sounds. Okay.
right, so I've worked with um, Sarkodie, Kiss Daniel, Oxlade, Shatawale, Stoneboy, Kwesiata, Wendy Shea, uh, Davido, Whiskey. I, I can't even count. A whole lot. Um, but my favorite artist to actually work with is Shatawale. Yeah, because uh, we have some kind of um, vibe that uh, we actually get along quite well in the studio. So, yeah. Here are some of the songs I've produced so far. Poco by Kiss Daniel, Focus by Joe Boy, Happy Day by Sarkodie, Elevate by Kusiata, Celebrate by Kusiata, um, uh, Stevie Wonder by Wendy Shen Shatawali, Amount by Shatawali. I, I can't, there's a lot. There's a lot. But my favorite song that I actually, just one, it's so difficult. One song that I've produced so far is a song by Kusiata titled Elevate. Um, there's a lot that actually went into that big making, that big making process. So, yeah, Elevate by Kusiata. Okay, so um, my favorite Roland instrument is the famous Jupiter series. Right now, we are having Jupiter X, so right now, currently, this is my favorite. So the reason why I like this so much is this, the vintage sounds from uh, the, the older versions in the 90s, the 80s. Uh, this were the instruments we actually found in vintage studios back then. Yeah, and now it's all modernized into this beautiful piece right now. So the sounds, the sounds of this have uh, um, vintage and I like vintage. So yeah, now I need to find suitable drums. So I'm going to use um, a preset from Xenology as well. Um, it's a drum kit. Has all the drum sounds in it. Um, yeah, I just need to select my favorite sounds that I'm going to use. Good, good, good. Love this. Yeah, love this. Um, okay, this suppo there's supposed to be a conga anyway, so leaving this at the same position. Good. Uh, yeah, so putting everything together, you're supposed to have a drum pattern that sounds like this. Yeah. Okay, let me play all this together, see how it sounds. Oh, no, no, no. So, uh, first of all, I would like to say <laughs> Xenology has a lot of sounds. Sometimes I even get confused picking the sound I want because I just love almost all the sounds. First of all, this is like a mallet stroke electric piano kind of sound. Um, Lost Paradise. And then I have my go to bass, go to bass line, growl bass one. Putting that together with the vocals I did originally sounds like this.
So this entire beat was solely made with um, uh, Xenology from Roland, except my vocals, of course. The drums, the chords, the strings, the bass, everything was from Xenology, except my vocals. And I think it came out perfectly well. Under two minutes, I'm done. All right, I go by the name MOG, and it's been a pleasure to be on Beat and Live. Um, shout outs to Roland, and shout outs to Grand Up Charlie. Peace, bless up. Oh, slowly, take my heart to go.